Coyote. Coyote walked the road here. Right up to my trap. Let's see what he did. That's the set. That would be the pan in there. And there is his paw. Also have a little, looks like a tiny little bobcat. Little cat tracks. This is the same set I caught that bobcat in. But uh, yeah, he approached it. But he hung up right there for some reason. Maybe he squirted it, I don't know. Another coyote approached this hay set from that direction. Walked around. Walked around it. And I have a trap right over here, by the way. It's actually right over here. And uh, he walked around it. And he came and he stepped very near, and I gotta find out where my pan is because I don't know why. It either is frozen or he didn't step on it. I don't want to mess with it though. But it's just starting to snow, so it's filling up the track. So that happened last night. And off the road he went. So I threw in another set up there. And uh, it's just a waiting game now. We're on location. Just need to convince them to travel all this ground to this to this hay set and put his foot right where I need it to. Ain't that the name of the game? Three inches from the pan in retrospect on that <coughs> hay set. Oh, coyote print. It was three inches from the north end of the dog. Coyote followed my trail down here yesterday to my set, walked around it, walked behind it, sniffed at it, got a double dirt hole, one under the rock, and uh, somewhere in there, I can't see my LCD screen, the trap is down here. I was thinking I should have put one behind here, and uh, Wish I would have now, but next time perhaps. And he walked on down to my set down there that I have on his uh, his rock. <laughs> he missed the trap there too. So here's one, and there's one, and the pan is right there. He wasn't far off, hitting the rock. He was hitting the rock. Deer wrangling 101. Caught it in a cable restraint. He's okay. He's all right. All right. What you got, big guy? Relax. 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 It's all right. It's all right. Two loops around your neck. It's all right. You're all right. Go out. Relax. 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 Released. There you go. What do you think about that, buddy? Yes. He's all right. Uh -huh. I hate doing that, but he's okay. What'd you say? Like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little dangerous, but uh, he's okay. 
Cable restraints are safe when done properly. Deer run off safely. Another swing the other way back to single digit temperatures. <clears throat> Nearing the end of my line, near the end of the season. I'm gonna pull one out in another week. I just set this in here last night. Got another bobcat. The younger, younger bobcat. You know what? So there's bobcat one. Apparently I looked up where I had my other trap. And I got a double. Double on bobcats. Son of a gun. Shaking. Ah. It's gonna be a long day. Kinda nice, but I can't keep them. So, they're just a pain in my tail. Day later, kitty. Another kitty. Walking in my tracks. Made, making a little trail for himself. Off my tracks. I don't know what happened here. Looks like he went up here or there was an, another one. Kept following my tracks. There was two of them. Nice. So I'm pulling out of here. Out of this wonderful country. Because I don't want any more of them. Until I can start keeping them. I don't like letting them go. For many reasons. That's it. I'm out. Pulling out, end of the season for me, but I'm pulling out a little too late. As you can see, I got an ice storm last night. So every once in a while while walking, the walking part of my line here, you can hear the snapping and cracking of the widow makers. And uh, it's just a pain in the butt traveling in. But you can hear the deer running for a long way off this ice. It's not that bad, but it's bad enough to bring everything down over my trail and block off my roads and ice up my my snares and put a thick crust over my trap beds, but it's just the way it is on the east coast. So I'm pulling out. No more. No more of this. I liked it better when it was frozen solid for two weeks and fluffy powdery snow. So, let's get the hell out of here. So there's a cable restraint. It's froze up, can't even fire. Can't even slide along there. That's cleaned off a little bit. Should fire like, like that, like a zipper. Zip on down. It's not even worth maintaining. That's all this is maintenance. Maintenance. Maintenance of the line, and I'm not I'm not gonna deal with it because there's a bigger storm coming supposedly on Saturday. How big? No one says. And you know it's really it's no bigger than anything we haven't experienced as kids. It's just all of a sudden media is playing up weather events like it's Armageddon, end of the world. It makes you wonder why. The media is doing it. They got an agenda. They're pushing their damn agenda. No big deal. It's just winter. We see it all the time. We see it every winter. <laughs> yeah. Media. Let's move on. Everything's still starting to pick up a little bit. The branches are starting to snap off a little bit more. Not a good day to be a bird. What do you do? Your perches are all falling out from underneath you. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I just snapped all my traps. Rendered them inoperable. And uh, left my snares, a couple of them going. I'm gonna come back out here tomorrow and try to pull everything else out before that other storm comes. That's it, guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Come along for another ride. Some other journey. Maybe I'll do 
Maybe I'll shave my beard now. I don't know. If I make it out of here alive. <laughs>